Writer Henry David Thoreau wrote, A man may stand there and put all America behind him. This is a place to put the world behind you, to step into the breathtaking beauty and explore the historic and charming coastal villages, to gorge on some seafood and to see the sights. Welcome to Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Located on the southeastern corner of mainland Massachusetts, Cape Cod, a hooked peninsula, extends 65 miles into the Atlantic Ocean. This picturesque setting is rich with history and coastal charm. There are 15 towns, each with its own character and unique places to visit. Here are some of the best things to see and do during your time in Cape Cod. For starters, you must spend some time on the Cape Cod National Seashore. The shoreline is the biggest draw, of course, which stretches for some 40 miles and has some of the best beaches in the area. Because it's a protected area, signed into law by JFK actually in 1961, most of it is natural and undeveloped. The National Park Service also maintains 12 trails that meander through lesser known areas along the seashore. These include a cedar swamp, a beech forest, and a historic cranberry bog. The Salt Pond Visitor Center is a great place to learn about some of the history of the area, including the importance of fishing and whaling. Lighthouse lovers, Cape Cod is for you. There are 14 lighthouses here, each with its own history and photo opportunities. Some highlights include the Race Point Lighthouse, first lit in 1816. It had one of the earliest revolving lights, and it's on the National Register of Historic Places. Some of the other well-known lighthouses include Chatham Lighthouse, Nauset Lighthouse, and the Three Sisters. A lighthouse tour gives a purposeful way to travel around and see all of Cape Cod. There are a lot of options for getting out on the water here. There are whale watching tours, seal spotting charters, and you can even go out on expeditions to hunt for great white shark sightings. There are fishing trips and many narrated boat tours that range from history lessons about shipwrecks, pirates, the pilgrims, and even sunset scenic cruises. There's a lot to enjoy. The Cape Cod Rail Trail offers nearly 30 miles of bikeways to bike or hike on. Its paved pathways follow what used to be the Old Colony Railroad Corridor, which was originally built for freight and passenger trains after the Civil War. Today, it's one of the best biking trails in all of New England. There are many places to rent bikes or grab a bite to eat in the numerous little towns that the Cape Cod Rail Trail snakes through. The Monomoy National Wildlife Refuge has 7,600 acres of protected dunes, salt and freshwater marshes, and a decommissioned lighthouse. It's rugged and it's beautiful. The surrounding islands are a nesting habitat for hundreds of different seabirds, and it's also home to a large seal population, harbor seals and gray seals. You can explore it on your own or take a guided tour. The John F. Kennedy Hyannis Museum showcases photographs, artifacts, and films a la all things JFK and family. It's an interesting immersion into the connection between Cape Cod and the Kennedys. You can learn why Hyannis Port was so special for this family by stepping back in time to the summer days of the early 1960s. The Sandwich Historical Society and its Glass Museum offer a look back at the history of the town of Sandwich, the oldest town in the Cape. 
Much of their history revolves around American glass production. The museum now has 5,000 pieces of glass produced by the Boston and Sandwich Glass Company between 1825 and 1888. They also have glass blowing demonstrations on the hour. It's interesting and hands on. The glass is honestly quite mesmerizing. While in Sandwich, be sure to visit the Heritage Museum and Garden. There are over 100 acres of gardens teeming with flowers. There's also a two acre children's area called Hidden Hollow that has lots of interactive features for the kids. You can finish off your visit by perusing the antique car collection in an American folk art display. For a unique evening activity, be sure to check out the Wellfleet Drive-In, the only drive-in that's in Cape Cod. It's retro and nostalgic and a fantastic way to spend a summer evening. It's been open since 1957 and it remains a family favorite. When you head up to Provincetown to grab a meal, that's the town at the very tip of Cape Cod, you'll see the Pilgrim Monument. It's hard to miss, actually, since it's 252 feet tall. It's the tallest all-granite structure in the U.S. It was commissioned by President Roosevelt in 1907 to commemorate the site where the Mayflower first landed. While it's a trek to the top of it, it does offer an amazing view of the Cape and it's totally worth the exertion to get up it. A short ferry ride will take you to both Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket. They make for lovely day trips, or you can certainly stay overnight to enjoy all that they have to offer. Martha's Vineyard has 100 square miles and six delightful towns to experience. The National Park Service has deemed Nantucket a National Historic Landmark District for being the finest surviving architectural and environmental example of a late 18th and early 19th century New England seaport town. Cape Cod is a popular tourist destination in both the summer and the fall. Its quintessential coastal charm, history, and delicious seafood make it a place where you can put the rest of the world behind you for however long you choose to stay. Thanks for watching Shore Me Some More. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story about the shores, outdoors, and more.